Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to link your Google Analytics account to your Google AdWords account. The benefits of doing this is that you'll be able to share data between the two platforms. So you'll be able to send cost and performance data from your Google Ads that you're running into your analytics platform and look at all of your website data side by side with your ad performance data and vice versa. You'll also be able to send Google Analytics traffic information directly into AdWords and look at some more powerful reports that way. It's a pretty simple process. The first thing you want to make sure that you do is go ahead and log into your AdWords account that you want to connect and the Google Analytics account you're going to connect with should also be under the same Google login. Once you've logged into Google AdWords, come up to the top right corner and click the Settings icon and go to Linked Accounts. Now we're going to click on View Details under Google Analytics. If you haven't already enabled auto tagging for your account, you'll see a box here that has a button that allows you to enable that with one click. There's no additional setup required, but this is necessary to tell Google Analytics what traffic is coming from your AdWords ad clicks. Once auto tagging is enabled, you'll want to find your Google Analytics property that you want to link to this AdWords account. This is in case you have multiple properties associated with this Google account. In my instance here, I only have one, so go ahead and find the right one and click set up link. There's a few final options before we complete the linking of accounts. Here you'll see all of the views that you have for that Google Analytics property, and then you'll have link and import site metrics. Link is sending AdWords data into Google Analytics, so you're allowed to do that for as many views as you want. As you see here, you can turn on all that apply. For most people, I would recommend for every view that you have, go ahead and send data from AdWords into Analytics. If you have a very specific customized view that's for something uh, very specific and does not include anything to do with your marketing efforts or your AdWords campaigns, then you can go ahead and turn that one off. But for most people, if you just have one or two views here, then I would recommend leaving all of these on. Your import site metrics is your Google Analytics data that gets pulled into Google AdWords. So this one we can only have one view that's sending data from Analytics into your AdWords account. Because your views might be filtered in different ways, Google AdWords only allows, allows one Analytics view to send data into its platform. So here we do have to make a choice. Here I have a master view which is unfiltered which is pulling in everything which is which includes different spam visits and things like that and internal traffic here this filtered view is excluding all of my internal traffic uh, from employees from the company and anything that's internal and as well as all kinds of spam visits and things that aren't actual real visitors visiting the site so this filtered view is the cleanest data set that I have so that's what I'm gonna turn on for importing site metrics and the last thing we have to do is just come down here and click Save. And that's it. Now we're all set. Now our Google Analytics account is successfully linked with our Google AdWords account. And you'll start seeing data shared between your reports. You can also optionally import goals from Google Analytics and set them up as conversions in AdWords, as well as work with remarketing lists. But both of those things are outside the scope of this tutorial, so I'll cover those in a different video.